Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to a new week's weekly vlog. And I can tell you already, this week is such a busy week. So I really hope that I can show you enough things and enough interesting things. Next week, I promise you, it will be a super interesting week because I'm planning on doing my handbag collection next week. But that that takes a little bit of time, so... Therefore, yeah, it's, it's, it's reserved for next week. But yes, this week, let's see what we'll do. I'm just, I just ate breakfast. Now I'm working, went to the gym in the morning. Um, yeah, that's, that's the update of the day. And I will bring you with me for the rest of the day. So yeah, keep tuned. Hello again. So today... Um, like I said, I have so much to do, but I thought that you have probably all seen my What I Got For Christmas video and I got two of the most gorgeous handbags. One's the Celine Not Bag and second the Celine Classic Bag, Box Bag. And since Christmas, those two bags were probably the bags that I wore in 99.9% of the time so yeah i really like using those bags and i thought let why not do a what's in my bag video of those bags so since both of those bags are now packed because i used them all month i thought it's perfect and here with the celine not bag let's let's just start with this absolute beauty and maybe we can prop her next to me so that you can see her all the time. Ta -da -da. Okay, it has a huge compartment in the middle and then it also has a zipper. You can see it has a zipper here with two round pockets there. Oh, you see I have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of stuff. So the only two things that I always, always have to take to change my bags are my my card keys, my, my card keys, my, is my key wallet from Prada and this is my car key. But the other things, they stay in their bags because I have a wallet for the small bag and I have a wallet for the big bag and my bank card that I use most of the times is in there. So yeah, I don't really have to change the things that are in my bag, but now you see what's in there. So when I um, have my big bag, then I usually carry my big wallet matches met with my my key holder and also my card holder is from the same collection the same color everything as well so they are all from prada and this nice red Safiano leather i think they don't do them anymore which is very sad but um they're they're great they really are great and as you can see bank cards here cards cash everything then i usually carry an extra headband in there because you never know sometimes my hair looks gross and my hair looks flat and if my hair looks flat i love to put on a head hairband because it kind of lifts my head a little bit so yeah then my big headphones when i have my big bag then I usually carry my big headphones with me. Those are from Playboy and I love them. I also wear them every single day in the gym. So when I go to the gym, I have to take them out to go to the gym. But yeah, love them so, so much. They are extremely amazing, like extremely amazing. Then this is my iPad mini case because I read on my iPad all the time. Now it's not in there because it's laying on my bed because I read in bed before falling asleep yesterday. Then I always carry pair of sunglasses with me those are believe it or not from Massimo Dutti and I think they really suit me like can I say that about myself but yeah I think they suit me because most most sunglasses look hideous on me hideous then oh can I show you this it has a lot of hair in there so if you don't like hair don't look at it but this is my hairbrush um it's from dyson i have two of those one is always in my handbag and one is always um on my vanity case because i need to brush my hair <laughs> all the time like every morning every evening all the time then i have my favorite perfume with my engraving here my gucci guilty yeah, i love it let's put on a little bit of the oh just smells 
heavenly 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 this is my scent for the last eight years i all like i love it since eight years and i think it came out eight years ago so then i have an extra pair of socks in there because funny thing about me is this that i never wear socks i never wear socks i don't wear socks in boots i don't even wear socks to go in my trainers when i go to the gym i am barefoot in my trainers barefoot in all of shoes. i hate socks so so much but sometimes when I'm at people's houses, and especially if my last pedicure is a little bit far away, let's put it that way, then I um I prefer to put on socks and not walk around barefoot with my ugly feet when they are not nicely done and pedicured. And also I don't really like walking barefoot in other people's houses. It's a bit weird, I think, but yeah. Then I have a little bit of cash laying around there. How much do I have? 40 cents. So you can't buy a lot of that, but you can actually, you can actually buy in most bakeries, you can buy in Demi Baguette um, in Paris. So yeah, that's a Demi Baguette, that's half a baguette. But most times it's like 50 piece, but sometimes it's 40, 45. So yeah, I, have a, I can buy a Demi Baguette with that tomorrow morning. Then I have my lactose tablets because I'm lactose intolerant for me. Then I have a lip gloss. This one is nearly empty. Love it. It's from Laura, Mer Laura Mercier. It's called Glossomer. Put a bit on. I'm gonna have a lipstick on. But I, we can always put something else on top of it. Perfect. Doesn't that look nice? So yeah, really love this lip gloss. Then a pen, because I always need to write something down and I never have a pen. And then I always, always carry my hourglass ambient lighting powder and diffuse. Like, I mean, look how old this is. This is so, so old. I've used it so much, but still, it still has so much in there. Like, so much. But, I mean, I use it a lot. And that's, that's a testament for a good quality product. When you don't use it all that time. Like, I use it all the time, but... It does not look like it's used all the time so yeah this is everything that i carry in my handbag every single day and yeah sometimes i put in a notebook but mm, i don't always carry a notebook with me because they tend to get very heavy but i yeah sometimes i'd like to carry a notebook and then we are coming to the small bag like what do i carry in my small handbag Ta -da -da, the celine box bag and as you can see if i were to buy I wear this bag today I would just put in my um, my key holder and my my, my um, how do you say it my car key and then that's how it looks full here would be my phone on top but I'm now filming on my phone so it's not in there but as you can see it's actually quite spacious so it has two departments here and it has a zipper here but I never never ever put something in there but I think if I were um, traveling or something like that i would probably put my passport in there because then it's safe and guarded and yeah that's something very good so let's start always a scrunchie some gum fisherman's friends i love fisherman's friends but only the mint ones like i recently tried another one like the raspberry ones and they were oh disgusting they literally were disgusting so yeah sorry if you like it but i just don't like it but i also don't like fruit so i never eat fruits never ever so yeah that's probably plays a role in that as well then as i said my my key holder then here is the matching card holder as you like you know i like to have everything matched so you see key holder card holder wallet everything matches um then i have my car key as i've just shown you then i usually carry a lot of lip products with me so i was very surprised that in the last 10 pack there was only one lip product but here i have my charlotte tilbury Til pillow talk my dior lip glow oil and this is another dior lips lip gloss i think dior makes the best lip glosses of all the time so i love them this is the dior addict ultra gloss glow 256 so if you want it as well it's a little nice pale pinky color very nudey pink but not too nude like it still has a little bit of color and you don't look like that um as i you saw i have the 
big headphones usually with the big bag and I have the airpods with the small bag and I prefer the old airpods like those with this case I they look like that I don't like the new airpods with the plasticky thing there because they don't they never say my ear I have weird ears because most of the things do not stay in my ear like most of them headphones do not stay in my ear and the apple airpods like the original ones are the only headphones like the only in-ear headphones that don't fall out all the time like i can do burpees and head trainings in the gym with them in and they don't fall out so that's very very good then i have a lot of business cards in there and then i have um how do you say that um a gift card for a bookstore because i love books like Remind me that I have to show you my favorite books. I may I might do that later today. I have to show you my lady, my favorite books. And then I always like just uh what do you have in there? Oh no, those are just receipts. Receipts. Um of the handbag actually. It's a receipt of the handbag in the handbag. So probably should not leave that in there because if someone ever tries to steal my bag, then they also have the receipt and it's very easy for them to sell the handbag and we don't want to make that easy for them but yeah those are all the things that are in my handbag and i now have to take that out because i don't use the bag today but i use another one but i use the big one later so yeah those are the handbags good morning everyone it's the next day and as i told you i was so busy um i just went to the gym made myself ready and i remembered that yesterday i promised you to um show you my favorite books of like that i read in the previous few months years like not years like probably like in 2021 22 and here they are because now i'm showing you so there's a miscellaneous thing of books here i prefer to read um self-development books Medic medical books like gut related because to be honest i have a lot of issues with my gut sometimes because um yeah just how it is and then also like love novels and here i i don't have the hard copies of most love romantic comedy novels with me because i usually read them on my ipad i ipad mini but the best ones i can just say like my favorite 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 um authors are sophie kinsella lindsay kelk and soraya wilson soraya wilson i actually prefer to listen to them and the other ones i prefer to read them and they are just awesome amazing and no i did not cut my hair there just in my shirt and i sometimes like the look of this little bob situation here because i don't have to cut a bob but it sometimes looks just a little change and here yeah let's just start because that's what we're here for the first one is the glucose glucose revolution book from jesse in sorry if i pronounce it probably completely wrong but it's just an amazing book it's about glucose and about your glucose response to different foods and also, it's different for everybody. Um, I last year I wore a CVM, that's a continuous glucose monitor for um I have to put my towel away because I just was just in the shower and I put it on my chair and it fell down. Sorry. But yeah. Um and I just yeah, I had the glucose monitor, this continuous glucose monitor on for a month and it was from a brand called Wary and it was so interesting because it just saw how your glucose responses to different food and so on and here are just general tricks how to um, not make your glucose um, response spike so much for example eat always eat first um, the fiber then the fats and the protein and last the carbs also um, drink a little bit of apple cider vinegar or just any kind of vinegar before you eat um i love to drink vinegar so so much so i always do that and I, I don't have a problem with that i just really like it so yeah great book um 
because glucose response like if your blood glucose is like that then you have a lot you could have a lot of symptoms for example you could be very tired the typical afternoon slump when you feel so tired and exhausted is typical because of your gl glucose response so good book to read next good book that i read i think i read that on holiday it's from Robin Sharma, the 5 a.m. club. And no, I don't wake up at 5 a.m. now, but it's just like what to do in the first hour when you wake up. And I think it's such a great, such a great, great, great book. And also another one, but I have it on my iPad, it's Miracle Morning. Those two books are probably the best books for your morning routines. The best, best, best books. I think I have to show you like my morning routine a little bit more detailed. I've already shown it in one of my recent weekly vlogs it's in the title morning routine um but yeah i think morning routine is so important and this book really 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 inspired me and i just i really like it then another book this one is super interesting it's the parasitic parasitic mind how infectious ideas are killing common sense my boyfriend gifted it to me and it's just so interesting how minds of people work um yeah it's just if you're if you're interested in like the society how society thinks and so on then this book is really something from you it's from a guy called get sad and like god sad and he also has i think a youtube a, like a youtube channel where he does a lot of videos and i think also a podcast but yeah really 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 interesting then this is probably one of my favorite books about like self-development um it's atomic habits and it's from james clear i mean it's it's an international bestseller chances are that you already read it and if you haven't i urge you to go and read it right now because it's it is that good it is really really amazing this book gave me so many tips and tricks on how to make my habits stick and i am already a very disciplined disciplined person but this book really helped me to go like jump over the edge like be even better with those things and also it explains to you why you sometimes don't stick to habits and what the thought process maybe also the thought process that you don't even realize you have inside of your head is and yeah that's really interesting and it helps you to stick to habits because we probably all have a lot of things we want to do more or we want to do less of and this book really i think i read it in two goes like i read the first half in one go and then in the morning and i think in the afternoon evening and in the morning of the next day i read the second half uh because i loved it so much i just loved it so so much and that does not always happen with like um with non-fiction books right because sometimes i think with non-fiction books you can't read like so 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 much in one go because they are very um hard to process but this one really isn't so yeah then this one lifespan why we age and why we don't have to from david a sinclair um david sinclair he also did um a podcast series with um andrew huberman and it's on youtube and it's also like everywhere where you listen to podcasts it's super interesting go listen to that as well and also read his book because his book is it just shows you like what is aging how we can stop aging reverse aging and not just aging like in the vein perspective of wrinkles or something like that but aging and like don't get sick don't make our body stop producing those hormones and so on and so on so very good book very good book highly recommend it then kind of a very very similar book it's how not to Ri how not to rye how not to die from michael gregor and it's actually it's very very similar to a lifespan so it's the the thing is about like discover foods scientifically scientifically proven to prevent and reserve reverse disease so this book and the lifespan book are very similar in um, the theme they are about but this one focuses more on what to eat so that you don't die and so that you kind of stop or not stop but slow down your aging process and therefore die so yeah this is also very good it's also he also has a second book how not to diet and it's not about diet like don't eat it's about what are the best things to eat so you never have to diet because what are the best things to eat for your body and then you see i love 
I love um, reading about aging and stop aging, reverse aging, uh, whatever. And those books are always very, very big. Um, this one is called Life Force. It's from Tony Robbins. You all know him. Peter I. Mendes and Robert Hariri. And it's about all the new breakthroughs in precision medicine. And yeah, what are the newest technolo technologies and the newest discoveries and the medical medicine department and what is coming in the future years. It's extremely interesting, like extremely interesting. So also if you're into like health medicine, then read this book. And yeah, those are those are the books that I think everyone should read. Those are my favorite books that I read like over the last few months, maybe year. And yeah, as you know, I love reading and those those books, they really stood out to me. And that's why I highly, highly, highly recommend them to you. And yeah, I don't know if I filmed something else tonight. I know this is a very short vlog, but this week was just crazy and it's already Wednesday. So tomorrow the vlog has to go live and it's super busy. I'm so sorry, but next week there will be a lot, a lot longer vlog. And also I'm now deciding on furniture and everything for my new apartment. So there will be a lot of content concerning this. And yeah, maybe you can help me choose different things. And yeah, those are the things that happened to me this week. Really, literally nothing interesting. So next week will be more interesting. And also let me know what else you want to see next week. I will probably do my handbag collection as I've told you because you all seem to love handbags. I mean, I love handbags. We all love handbags. I think every woman nearly loves handbags and also a lot of men love handbags. So yeah. How much can I say handbag? But yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a very, very nice rest of the week and I will see you next week with a lot more, with a weekly vlog that is a lot more interesting than this one. But I hope you liked this one too. So bye-bye.